Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a shot of my day camp here. Uh, parked over at this day use uh, open space park. It's a really nice day today. Nice and clear, but it is windy. Uh, hopefully uh, you're not getting too much wind noise off this. But just wanted to give you a view around here. Not a whole lot of people in this lot. Looks like we got a big motor home here. I think that's actually the uh, campground host rig there. Um, and I'm just chilling out here. I'm gonna crawl inside real quick. Wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on with me in the van. Um, but once again, just a beautiful clear day. Nice cool breeze. Uh, it's just, just awesome out. All right, so we're gonna crawl in the van here real quick. I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about uh, the status of the van, what went down with my repairs. Uh, it's uh, running good. I'm back in action here. Uh, let me crawl in the van. Anyway, uh, the van passed its smog check. Uh, I ended up spending $800 out of pocket. Uh, the total bill was $1,200, and I had that $500 assistance from the Bureau of Automotive Repair. So, um, you know, most of the money was tied up in the diagnostics and actual pre-smog testing and smog testing. Uh, that alone is like $300 just for the basic diagnos diagnostics. Um, they ended up putting a catalytic converter, a muffler, an O2 sensor, a um, couple other little things. So, you know, it adds up quick when they're charging $112 uh, per hour for labor. But anyway, you know, I'm glad to have the van back. It was a long five days without it. Uh, but uh, let's see, what else can I talk to you guys about? Um, well, what's going on with me here uh, is I am trying to save money up. Uh, I have been working a part-time job and I'm finding that uh, I'm not making enough money to really get ahead and save. So I'm looking into getting another job. Uh, I'm here in San Diego and we have SeaWorld here and they hire for seasonal summer help which in the next month or two they actually start hiring so I think I'm going to look into that. I think it'd be good with my current job. I work early mornings, get off, have a little bit of downtime in between and then go hang out at SeaWorld for the rest of the day. Uh, basically we do, um, I'm applying for like park operations which is you know cleaning the paths and walkways and uh, uh, bathrooms and all that. Kind of what I'm doing already, uh, except not at a restaurant. It'll be actually at SeaWorld. So uh, hopefully that'll work out and I can start getting some money uh, set aside to uh, get out of San Diego and do some traveling. Uh, the next thing I'm looking into is uh, the winter months, fall, winter. Uh, I'm looking into Amazon Work Camper Force, and then I'm also looking into in South and North Dakota in the fall, they have the sugar beet harvest. The sugar beet industry is basically, as far as I know, they harvest these sugar beets and process them for actual sugar. Uh, so I just got turned on to that and it looks like a really good way to make a lot of money in a short amount of time. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on my progress of getting other jobs and the work camper uh, type jobs that I'm looking into uh, at different places across the country. Uh, basically why I want to do the seasonal work is I want to be able to work hard for a short amount of time and then be able to be not working for a short amount of time and have enough money saved up from that time I was working to get to the next job and actually have some fun along the way, see some sights, meet some new people and that type of thing. So that's what's going on with that. Um, uh, the other thing that I've really been thinking about is uh, I know I haven't posted any videos for a while. Uh, I've kind of I've kind of hit a little bit of a, a brick wall as far as where I wanted to go with this channel, what I wanted to do. Because I'm just sticking around in town so much when working and trying to save money, I'm not getting out as much as I'd like. And uh, so what I've decided to do with the channel is um, I kind of want to share a little bit more about my budget and my expenses and money, and you know what it costs to live in a van uh, in a city. So hopefully within the next uh, few days, um, what I've started doing is, you know, documenting all my expenses, gas, food, uh, and that's really, you know, I've got just a couple bills, uh, cell phone, car insurance. Um, so uh, it's really pretty simple, but somehow I'm still not able to get ahead. So I kind of want to fill you guys in a little bit more about uh, the kind of money I'm making and what I'm able to save, the expenses I have on the van and stuff like that. Like that so 
Uh, that's where I think I'm going to kind of try to go with the channel. I do, still do have a lot of footage from some trips I've taken recently, so I'm going to try to get that footage edited to some music and kind of show you some of the neat places I've been uh, around San Diego County, uh, as well as I'm just trying to get a lot of footage from what's, you know, normal day-to-day -day stuff to me. I forget that a lot of y'all out there have never been to San Diego, so I'm really trying to get a lot of footage of just the, the things that I take for granted, you know, my walks on the beach and stuff like that, so... Uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to give a, a couple shots out, too. Um, you know, I've been following along with uh, Chris Travels and G, and they're, they're on the road, so I've just been super excited watching their videos and following along with their, their excitement. And uh, of course, Happily Houseless. Uh, he, I got a sticker from Happily Houseless. I added it to James's Reduce World Suck. Left stuff, more freedom, guys. Uh, so stoked, Happily Houseless just got his Class B. That's so awesome, I'm so excited for him. I know he's gonna have a blast living in that thing. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, what else is going on? You know, I, I normally follow Caleb S's videos and he's kind of been uh, not posting, so. Just wondering what he's up to. Uh, trying to stay in touch with uh, James from Wanderlust Estate. Uh, he's trying to get back into making more videos and get motivated. So I'm just trying to pull together and uh, get on the get on the wagon here and try to get some more videos pumped out and uh, stay in touch with you guys. So we'll be checking back in with you later. And until uh, then, guys, peace.